What's good? What's good? It's your boy, Drama House, A Game Entertainment, 216 The Movement. We move with you, dig. <laughs> What's really good? Man, it's hot out there in these streets right now, ain't it, y'all? Just seen that um, ARP um, joint like a couple days ago about Sirius Jones and shit. No, Cartoon Jones, ARP, a fool for that, you understand me? But um, yeah, I was just listening to this shit, man, like, damn. This nigga ARP is like putting that shit out there because that's what that nigga do. You know, now that nigga sit down and break shit down. He try to kill you because, you know, he a smart dude. You understand me? He a smart dude. And these battle rappers be taking this nigga for granted. And he know it. You understand me? He a bag. He know he a bag. But he understand is as long as he could work these and manipulate these dudes. Shit, nigga. He going to keep getting the bag. The bag that he get him. It's cool, but he know that the long run, he working on the long run, you understand me? Slowly but surely, he know niggas gonna be dying off on um, URL, and he gonna be able to have a spot for them niggas. And then all them niggas that ain't really hot on URL no more, they gonna be hot on RBE, because RBE is like the D-League, and this is the NBA. So if the niggas from the D-League will be going there, coming back, going there, coming back, and that nigga, ARP, put a big card together, get a celebrity on that bitch. Nigga, he's he gonna stay in the game, believe me. ARP is here to stay, that's just facts. But niggas gotta stop taking that man for granted because he is not the nigga you think he is, man. He is a petty ass nigga, man. And he be showing it a lot. He be showing, he just be calm. He talk to you calm. He'll probably give you some money. He'll help you out. He one of them dudes that'll really help you out. But if you try to play him, all the shit you done told him because you thinking he cool or whatever and he ain't gonna say nothing or he just got all the love for you. No, nigga, he be having that shit in his weaponry. His shit be like stacked up. He be having hella weapons in the closet and niggas be thinking it's sweet just because how calm he is. And then when you fuck up and piss him off to the capacity, he start bringing them weapons out. Bombing on shit. Just like he did serious. You understand me? Like, he, he hit... Serious so hard, like right now it's funny because I was watching the uh, Head Ice shit just now and Head Ice was talking about how ARP aired him out or whatever, but even when Head Ice got to this one part when he was like, damn, Serious could have just called me or the dude that was hosting the shit talking to Ice was like something, something. He's like, I can't talk to the nigga. He ain't got no phone. And then he caught himself a little bit, but because he know. He really don't got no phone. Like, how a nigga like Sirius Jones don't have a phone? Like, that's crazy. Just coming home, nigga, phone don't call shit. How this nigga ain't got no phone? That's the first thing you get when you come home. You need a phone. Contacts, I need to get back with my peoples or whatever. Like, how a nigga ain't got no phone, man? How, how a nigga got niggas and he ain't got no phone? That's really crazy. You understand me? And then ARP was saying the nigga had to stay in the hotel. And then when you do look at the shit, when he blogging, that is a fucking hotel. So all this shit that ARP saying is for real. Now, when I first heard it, I'm saying to myself, Sirius is a pimp. You know what I'm saying? He be working motherfuckers. He, he, he working motherfucking ARP. You understand me? But he was trying to work ARP, but he was dumb doing it because he was telling the truth. He was telling ARP the truth. But still trying to work the nigga. So, like, you giving the nigga ammo. Like, that's crazy. You supposed to have been lying to the nigga. Like, yeah, such and such, this or that. I need this, man. It's all fucked up. But you telling nigga the facts. So, like, the nigga really... So, when he exposed you, it ain't. you can't be like, man, I was playing that whole ass nigga. I was spending this nigga, giving this nigga that nigga. I got a phone, nigga. I mean, my stay with my bitch, nigga. This, I got a house over here. He can't do none of that because he told the fucking truth. With his dumb ass. He told this nigga the truth while he was trying to pimp the nigga. You understand me? And then when the shit didn't go his way or whatever, he got mad. He got mad. Just like DJ on motherfucking Hustle and Flow. When he thought he was pimping Ludacris, you understand me? And then he gave Ludacris the tape. He think it's all about to be, he about to be the man or whatever. And yeah, went in the bathroom, nigga, and your shit was on the toilet. 
He was he was pimping you. That's when it's that's when it's really hard to swallow when you think you pimping the motherfucker, and then when you turn around and really understand what's going on, you see you the one being pimped. You can't accept that. That's crazy, ain't it? A nigga can't accept he trying to pimp you, but then when he when you look up, he pimping you. You get mad like, nah, nigga, it don't work that way. It don't work that way. So, serious, you a dumb motherfucker for even telling that nigga the truth. I thought you was a motherfucking pimp. I thought you at least know how to work this nigga or work the game, but you didn't, man. I guess you was being sincere. You really, maybe this really what it was, though. Maybe you wasn't trying to work the nigga. You understand me? You was just trying to, you know, put it all on the table, man. I'm fucked up, man. Help me out, my nigga. Help me out. Maybe that's really what it was, and then you seen that... It ain't go the way you want it, so you had to look some kind of way towards the fans when they ask like, damn, man, why you ain't on the card? You can't really just make yourself look like the, the idiot. You try to put ARP into this shit, shit backfire on you. ARP a petty nigga. He got the weapons now. He talking mad shit in a certain way because he acting like he really pissed off at you for what you did, and I believe ARP really is pissed off. You know what I think? I think ARP and I really just pissed off that you, that like, the shit that you was doing, all the fuck shit you was doing. I think ARP mad that he sent you that half and you couldn't show up to get body. Cause they was lining you up. He even said it. ARP even said you probably got lucky, nigga, that you didn't show up. At the end of the day, he been wanting to say that, but now that ARP really knew that it was not happening and it was over with, nigga, he gonna tell you the truth, nigga. Yeah, luckily you didn't come, nigga. Cause you gotta think he chose Big K. Big K be exposing niggas and they was gonna expose that shit that's on motherfucking record that that nigga was in jail for. Big K was about to let that nigga have it. ARP was lining that nigga up the whole fucking time. It just didn't go the way ARP wanted it to go. That's why he was mad. He didn't give a fuck about all that sucker shit. Holding him up about the, pro the um, probation officer. He was mad. That's why he tried so hard. He really, I think he don't like Sirius Jones just before this shit, he was trying to get Sirius Jones on stage so they could align Sirius Jones' ass up. They was about to bury Sirius Jones, and it didn't happen. And ARP really don't like that. ARP wanted to motherfucking kill that nigga. He wanted that nigga name buried and done. You understand me? That's what the fuck they was going to do to Sirius Jones. Sirius Jones, by being a, like, he got lucky, my nigga. Just like ARP said, that nigga got lucky. They was finna line him up. They was finna do that nigga like they did the uh, snitch nigga that came home. I forgot his name, but they was finna do him just like that, my nigga. Probably on some pedophile shit. I don't know what the fuck Sirius Jones did, but they was about to line his motherfucking ass up. And that's how you know that ARP was on some real petty nigga shit once he bought the wolf name into it. Because when I heard him say that, I was like, ugh. You don't do that, my nigga. That ain't no street nigga shit. Even your man said, nigga, you wasn't gone. You feel me? You didn't even say it like, yeah, I talked to your man. He, he didn't even believe you was going to be able to make it from the words on the streets. You said it like he was calling in like, yeah, man, don't fuck with that nigga. This nigga, gonna lie. This nigga ain't coming, man. You feel me? That's how he was saying it, man. On some petty shit. So now, look, the Wolf and Sirius Jones beefing now. Niggas like, oh, this nigga ain't this, this nigga ain't that. You know what I'm saying? Man, once niggas be like this, and then niggas get like this, and then both sides start talking about this nigga ain't this, and this nigga ain't that, nigga make everybody look bad. Because y'all niggas was fucking around. Just like when you fucking with a bitch, and you ain't fucking with her no more, and you talking bad about the bitch, nigga, you look just as bad as the bitch you talking about because you was with that bitch, nigga. So stop it, and vice versa, man. That's crazy, ARP. <laughs> you a silly nigga, man. I know, but I understand. I ain't knocking you, homie. You was so pissed off that you let certain shit slip out that you usually wouldn't let slip out like that. You understand me? Because something was really rubbing you the wrong way. This nigga got half of the bread. He ain't show up for the, the, the mileage that you wanted to um, put on him. I get it, ARP, man. I get it, man. You understand me? I really get it, my nigga. So, I'm just saying.